Liz, welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, this is actually the next day for me. It's the next week for you. Did these uh, log cabin squares? Uh, my basket ready and waiting, and I thought I'd try out another thing. And so I've made these. Oops. Pinwheels. They're fairly easy to do. The only thing is you get a shed load of material all in the middle. So I'm definitely going to have to watch out for that when I'm quilting it. I need 12 of them to match the other 12. So I've got four here. I've got eight to go. And very easy to do the R. I'm cutting out 10 inch squares so when I've cut some out I'll come back to you. I think I worked it out wrong. I think I need four colours and I've only got two of the colours and four of the background. I'll make these and then I'll look at it again. Right, uh, first of all Basically, go, which, from one corner to the other corner, diagonally across, and use a barrow, anything, I used my disappearing pen, disappearing on me. And mark a line. Doesn't matter because you're going to cut on there. It won't be seen. So go from the next diagonal to that diagonal. On there. You can use a pencil if you want. And then you put them right sides together and so either side I'm using a um, quarter inch seam allowance and so either side of your lines now my sewing machine doesn't like stopping and starting and everything and I prefer chain piecing so I'll sort the other one out and then go over to the same machine. Just so we away now, either side of the um, line that you've just drawn on. I'm going to try something this same machine doesn't normally like, which is moving it while it, the cotton's up because it's going to if I can keep my finger in it. So I can hold those threads down. Because that's what my machine does not like.
can cut it off and or put it on a you know like sew itself onto a small bit of material whichever you want I'm just trying this out with the same machine because it normally doesn't like it do now is cut it in half that way cut it in half down there and across and your lines as well what I tend to do is the easiest because the 10 inch squares I'm using I put my line on the 5 inch and check I'm cutting where my lines intersect and down I go and do this one on the five inch mark And I'll just show you this one. It's basically point to point now, but you've got your line there as well. So just down it. And then press it. Oops. I didn't pull it. Chuck that one apart. <laughs> oh well. It again. There. <laughs> and there you have those. See that? So I'll cut all these up and then press them back. They need just trimming down and then putting in the shape of the pinwheel, which should take me a bit of figure in it. <laughs> wheel <laughs> and so I'm just going to trim these up and then I'm going to stitch them together the two across there and then when they're stitched I will attach them to to there so I'll make them into those blocks that you saw earlier so I'll just trim these up and then uh, take it to the same machine Now I'm turning them together in the shape of the pinwheel. I've got them all 
uh, out in front of me so I can pick them up and do them at the same time because if I pick them up and pin them I'm gonna end up sewing the wrong side together I know I will There's still a possibility of me saving the wrong side. A strong possibility. Because the first batch I made, the seams seem to really bunch at the end so I'm trying to get them even more accurate this time I'm going for accurate sewing I think Getting me seems to lie flat. And so far it seems to be paying off doing it this way. them apart and press them back and then stitch them into four pinwheels. See you in a minute. I've made sure that I've pinned on every group of four that I'm sewing together the middle bit where all the points meet so hopefully that's what will happen with mine and I'm just going to sew them up now Moment of truth. Then cut them apart, press them back, and show you. Uh, I finished off and I did exactly the same two colours the pink and the dark red to match the pink and the dark red that side, and then did it sort of the orangey and the nearly dark red. <laughs> So that's 12 squares. And I've laid them out on my work surface in here next to those. 
and that is a big area so I might have to reconsider my sizings <laughs> mm. but then again I'm going to be sewing all these together so that will be seam allowances but then again I was planning on putting a border a uh, black border round each one and join them that way mm. but I'm having fun <laughs> making all these blocks and you can tell I've got better out of me uh, they don't meet too brilliant there it got better on the second batch I did and this last batch all of them meet up brilliant so I'm really happy with that and so <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted now by the size of it see you next week bye